artist. Y'all need to get your IG pages together. And what that looks like depends on who you are. I'm gonna let Russ speak on it. Something every independent artist should know and should be doing. Making sure that without trying too hard that you are making the brand called you. I come across a lot of artists, a lot of up and coming artists who they might have cool music or potential, but you go to their page and it just looks like there's no branding. Meaning like, what are you about? Outside of the music, what are you about? Or how do you approach your, your, uh, your content? How do you approach your style of everything? Like what's the brand that gets people to buy into you as a person? Like, I feel like for me, people have bought into the music, but people, people are still around now. I'm going, I'm going on seven years in this shit now. You know, I blew up in 2016. It's about to be 2023. And I think people are still here because, yeah, the music, but also because they've bought into me as a person and what I'm about and what I talk about. And I think that's really important. What do you talk about? Who are you as a person? And I think a lot of these people, when they hear branding, they always, always, always go to the aesthetic. And that was the thing that killed me when I first started working with artists. There's this thing in people's mind, maybe because it's more creative in this space. They always think aesthetic. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh man, what does my page look like? This is my brand. I'm using this color and this color. Brand is so much more than that. Mm -hmm. So if you look at Russ, his page isn't extremely like one vibe or another. But what did he say? People bought it to him as a person mm -hmm. and what he talks about. All right. So what does Russ talk about? What do, what do you think when you think Russ? Uh, business, music, industry, advice. Sprinkle of drama here and there, you know. You know, he he's almost like um, I don't know. I put him in the 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 same bucket as like the La Russell. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. the artists who found a way to stay music industry adjacent when they're not making music. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, a rap Gary V. Exactly. It's exactly what it's like. Yeah. It's like that's, that's a, actually a great description. Yeah. So <laughs> when you think about that, though, again, that's something that people can connect with. People mm -hmm. know that he's about independence or business and doing things a certain way. And you can watch him and, do it. Yeah. Watch me do it in mm -hmm. real time. I'm going to do the work. You know what I mean? I'm an entrepreneur. That's his mentality. And people buy into that mm -hmm. who don't necessarily like his music. Right. And mm -hmm. then you have people who like his music who might not fully like connect with that message or care as much but overall people understand that that's who he is beyond the music so some artists and managers are just waiting for lucky moments when the ones who are killing it have systems to consistently take artists to another level over and over again and if you want to see what that looks like we just did a collab where we not only show the system that we use that's resulted in billboard hits some of the biggest viral moments on tiktok instagram and youtube but also we got jr mckee to break down how he took an artist from zero to one of the biggest hit songs of 2022 and getting a grammy in january of 2023 this is recent stuff not old tactics if you want to check it out go to www dot brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Don't forget the WWW or it won't work because JR gets into the details of looking at the data, decisions that got made, how much content got created and how they adjusted the content over time for different parts of the campaign. This is real behind the curtains type of stuff. So again, go to www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. If you want to check this out and apply it to yourself back to the video. Yeah. So who are you beyond the music? And then who are you within the music? And I think both of those are brands that people need to think about um, where I know a lot of artists don't want to show who they are beyond the music period. All right. But what is your IG? What is your TikTok? What do they communicate? That's your food for thought. All right. It doesn't have to be these high res videos because usually that's not going to be your brand unless you're like the weekend and you're doing, you know, these movie style videos, you know, but like, what do you what do you talk about? What do you look like? What do you sound like? What do you hang around or who do you hang around? Like, what's the environment you work within? And what do you wear? What do you wear? Mm -hmm. All right. All those are different elements that create brand and brand impression. And you can lean into one heavier. 
right, than others. Because there's people who are, I'm heavy in the fashion space and people think that first, right? And oftentimes the superstars have like multiple of those, but mm-hmm. it's still done over time. You usually have to enter first with like one, maybe two real strong. Yeah, that you really lean into. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, because I think the, the simplest way to explain, or I, I've kind of found to explain brand is, what do you want people to think about when they hear your name or see you, right? Like, what do you, what do you want people to think about? What do you want people to think about you? Like, whatever those things are, that is your brand. So, when I see, when they see me, I want people to think about fun and family and finance. Yep. My, my, my brand is fun, family, finance, right? So, because I think, I don't know. I wish we could, as a collective, like come together and change like branding to like personality building. Because that's basically what it is. Like branding mm-hmm. is just building a personality, right? It's like yeah. you come in, the artist is kind of like a husk outside of whatever we're hearing in the music, and branding is over time like building the personality of this person to the audience, right? So that's what the, the, I don't know. I feel like it could be. I wish it could be changed to something like that. But that's what that's how I've kind of like just best explain to people. Like, what do you want people to think about? when they see you or hear your name or see your face? Like, what do you want people to think about you when they see your name, hear your face or anything like that? Right, right. Now with that same thing in mind, 